Good morning, folks. Welcome back to streams. I am Mabus, and I'm going to be playing Valheim today. We, I'm not super satisfied with our current home location. We set it. We kind of set it up very early game, in kind of an annoying spot out of necessity, and uh, now that we're kind of in the mid game. I want to find a better place, not only for going forward, but just a better place in general to live. So that's what we're going to be doing this stream. But before we start doing that, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which pays bail and helps get LGBTQ folks out of jail. If that sounds like something you'd like to support, I have a donation button below the stream. I have an exclamation point donate command. And I have a QR code that'll be in the bottom left corner of the screen when the stream comes up that will take you to the donation page. I don't get any compensation for raising money this way. It just helps me raise money for a cause. Good cause, even. <laughs> so, any support, donation, or otherwise is greatly appreciated. Let me get the game going now. Oh, is there a fucking Valheim update? That I didn't know. Uh, well, let's see. Oh, there was a patch like five hours ago. Okay, um, looks like it was just a small patch kind of try to help deal with some of the uh, Xbox um, issues. Good morning, 3Gs. Good morning. Hope you are well. Thanks for hopping in and saying hi. Appreciate you. Wish I could catch more of your streams, but unfortunately, I'm usually doing lunch when those are happening or I'm at work, <laughs> which fucking sucks if I didn't have to work if I didn't have to work a normal kind of like nine to five kind of deal uh, I I wouldn't uh, think it was I think it was this one I have too many characters in this damn game but I think it was this one <laughs> that's true I play this game way too much with like in a few different kind of situations. <clears throat> Might help if I actually, you know, take the screen down. <laughs> yep, this stream we're gonna be trying to find a new home. Okay, I was like, wait, where am I? Because I'm usually facing this way whenever I, uh, in, in the stream. So I was just like, where am I? <laughs> Got some, uh, some turnips here to pick. Don't want to forget to do that. like replant a fraction of these to um, get the seeds back that we spend so we'll just kind of calc that out once we actually pick them all because essentially you can replant one of these turnips to get three seeds back so you just kind of take how many turnips you 
are growing. Divide that by three, then replant those, and then you can use the rest for like food or whatever. I can't believe I planted some of these so freaking close together and they still survived. I was expecting some of these to kind of not do that. Because if you plant them too close together, they uh, just don't grow. Jeez, my inventory's freaking full. probably fighting some trees and shit at the last stream because yeah I can see I can see the uh, hate me worker fighting some of them abomination things <clears throat> Of entrails. Alright. Where did it even. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, now we can go finish our, uh, our chores. <laughs> finish our chores before we get started on sailing around. How many of these fuckers did I even plant? Let's see. Oh, I planted 210, and hey, we got all of them, so that's uh, 70. What I was wanting to do is. Um, well, we don't have enough seeds to kind of have to do it that way, so we're just gonna. We'll just keep on keeping on with growing what I just uh, picked up. It's above our junk and let's replant. Got some turnips to replant. Honestly, I might, um, mm. now we'll, we'll just do uh, another, another 70. <clears throat> We're going to drop all these so it's easier to focus on how many I actually need to, um, plant. All right, let's get our seed turnips. Let's kind of line this all up nice. Foods, we have our stamina kind of back up, rip roaring where it is supposed to be, and I really wish I would have used my brain and like think ahead to get my rested bonus before doing this. That I might could my stamina would be where it needs to be because it's not currently doing as good as it could be. I always do this, like no matter if I'm playing like by myself or something else, I'm always just I always just forget. 
Oh my god, that punk ass. Yeah, those guys are also partial why, why I want to move, because they're just really annoying. They're not dangerous at this point. They, they were only slightly dangerous at the beginning when I was setting up the base. But now they're just kind of pain. All right, well, all the seeds have been planted. So let's go um, ahead and pick up all the other turnips that I should have put away while I was... Uh, I'll just fist fight you. Come here. Come here, you stinky bitch. Fisted. <laughs> All right, let's put stuff away. That still left us with like a nice like 161 like turnips to use for food. And so we got that stuff planted already. I don't think you have to worry. <clears throat> so yeah, let's um restock up on our food here. Okay, then we gotta get some boar meat in the entrails, and I think we need a uh, thistle as well. <clears throat> we stock on our sausages, and then we'll fill up on turnip stews. <clears throat> There's a rusted bonus, nice. All right, let's put all this junk away. Just in case we run into a mountain today, we're gonna bring some of these uh, with us on our adventures, cause, yeah. Uh, we wanna bring our wishbone as well, cause that will help us find uh, things that we wanna find. Let's see, where is this connected to? I'm gonna just step willy-nilly through a random portal I got somewhere. It sounds like a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna want that portal available for um, usage while we're sailing around. I wonder if our it's probably over here, honestly. <clears throat> oh yeah, we find like a ton of freaking crypts in this. Uh, but I, I was hoping that this area would be good for a base. Because I, I want to have somewhere that's near a mountain and maybe even a plains. Because so, that's kind of that set, that set us up perfectly for the mid game. Because the next place we have to go up to is the, is the mountains. And they're tall and it's cold and yeah. So our, our, our portal is probably there. So we're probably going to want to make another um, portal for bone mass. If I, oh, I already did. Well, then where the hell is this thing at? Let's find out. <clears throat> I 
Oh. Outside of a crypt. Hmm. Well, I guess we could probably raid one of these crypts first and foremost. Or maybe I, sh I should probably get one that's closer. Well, I don't even have my key on me. So let's go back and get a key. We'll raid one of these because I'll probably want some iron to make like some chests at wherever we decide our new base is going to be. Because you can use iron to make uh, better chests. <clears throat> these ones are, you know, fine. But the other ones are significantly bigger. Okay, so where's our little key? <clears throat> There's the little key. I was thinking we had a cart somewhere. But I guess we don't. Oh, I'm get stuck. Hmm. I thought we had a cart laying around somewhere, but we might have uh, ceased using that. Got some piggies though. <laughs> the tricky part is going to be getting a few of these to our new base, but I guess we'll see. We'll see how that goes when we get there. Let's head on through with our key in hand and. Maybe we could go to this one. I'll probably just I'll probably unlock it anyway. No, I'll keep it locked. It'll help, it'll help us keep track of which ones we've done and which ones we have not done. But yeah, I think we'll we'll head to this crypt instead because it's closer to where our uh, our boat is. Let's grab that. We'll grab this. Oh, I'll leave this box here. really comes to I'm sure I can probably wrestle up some uh, something spawned somewhere I don't know where but it it did maybe we can just uh Okay, yeah, I, th I thought that was one of those trees, but that's enough wood for us to kind of do what we need to do now. All right, so this one's where we're going to be trying to head to. Another thing is we, ha we haven't, like, set up like anything at any of these uh, little flame jet things whatsoever here which they're very useful to have set up at so that might be something we look into at some point as well as oh interesting well Cool little house here. Bonk. Bonk. <laughs> hmm. Wasn't sure if I'd glued this out yet or not. I remember scampering the fuck around this place last stream, almost dying, like, several times. <laughs> right in your little snoot. Alright, 
we are going to start setting up a little area here. Put this here in case we need to get up onto this. Because if we do that, we can jump on top of this and things can't really get to us. So we can put our portal up here as well. And they won't be able to really get to it, but we can. And we can just like hop down. And we're going to put this right here to hold scrap iron. Because scrap iron is very heavy. One of them is 10 weight by itself. And let's unlock this gate. And so this is the only one we're going to really be trying to bother with right now. I'm probably going to just... Uh, Go back, drop some stuff off. We'll come back, raid this one, and then we'll take our boat. Oh yeah, I forgot. Valheim doesn't really play nice with um, Vado too. It's weird. Just, just imagine the Bean is very like enthusiastic about playing the game and is just very distracted. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I was trying to trying to find out if there is some like workaround, but I really hadn't got that far yet. And well kind of annoying but what what can you really do sometimes All right. I did want to kind of put on some more uh, let's see, medium health and stamina but I don't know if we have enough raspberries for the, the stamina because if we look at the, this, the thing for the No stamina, yeah, that takes... I don't have those mushrooms either. Well, we can go pay a visit to one of those places real quick that has the mushrooms. So it's not like the end of the world, but... Let's sleep first. And then we'll go run around and do errands. As you can see, we've marked a few raspberries on the map, so we should be able to find those pretty uh, easily. Like, let's run over this direction briefly. Let's see if any of them have respawned. I think it takes like five hours for berries to respawn in their bush, so there's these are respawned. Pretty good indicator. We could probably just grab a whole bunch from around the biome. Yeah, we could probably grab a whole bunch. Let's swap to our light helmet so we can see a little bit better. Well, I think I, I had some marked here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Like three. Grab some more burries. Stinky little tree man. I wish there was a vanilla way to like kind of like grow more of these berry bushes. But there's not. Why is my. Is my game not like full screen or something? It says full screen. What? <laughs> How do I keep clicking out of the damn window? Hmm. That's annoying. I don't know if that's like a recent change or something. Well, 
That's not gonna be a problem, totally. Anyway, let's see how many raspberries I have now, because I want to make sure I can do... Okay, we have enough now. So I might circle around and grab some more from, like, these few bushes here and call it good. Come here, you little asshole. Bonk. <laughs> We're gonna run over and grab some of these mushrooms too if they are they should be spawned back. I think they spawn like every three hours after you if they are after they are um retrieved from the ground. They tend to spawn in smaller clusters though, which is kind of annoying, but um, I must have, uh, grabbed them or something, because they're not here. Hard to really say. Really, is it necessary? You brought this on yourself, boar. <laughs> I was just trying to mind my own, my own business. Okay, there's some here. I don't know if I missed these or what the deal is. I might only needed like one or two, and that's what I grabbed. And yeah. Oh. I almost got you. <laughs> Fish is just flopping around. No, we were gonna originally build our base over there because it's like closer to the water. But now I was just like, I kind of want to just live somewhere else that's near more useful things. Because we're not really there. Because we got like black forest and stuff there, sure, but like. If there's a mountain around here, it's a very small one. It might, it might be right there, honestly. I could see that being a mountain area if I went around like that. Like, as soon as you step into the mountain place, you start taking fr freezing damage. So you kind of need to, like, either have a potion to resist it or not go in it for very long. Plus, there's wolves that live in there, and they are pretty strong. Anywho... We're gonna head to this little dungeon down here to grab some of the uh, other mushrooms I need for stamina potions. Also, get, uh, we're gonna make this get the game look absolutely abysmal. Reason for that is now I can more easily see where there's stuff like mushrooms on the ground, like like these. I completely missed that there's mushrooms here because the vegetation's too goddamn thick. <laughs> so we're gonna mark the. So honestly, that's a that's a life hack and a half for you if you're trying to find like stuff like not necessarily um. Not strictly like um, the, the raspberry bushes, because they're usually pretty easy to see, but even then, this can make it easier to see stuff like that. Just kind of pick up all this stuff that's kind of around.
I usually keep the vegetation setting on max just because it's pretty. But at least for now, I'll keep it off so we can try to find some more mushroom spots. Okay, just clicked out of the game window again. That's frustrating. Let's see if that's like a recent problem that other people are having because it's kind of tedious. Alright, apparently, control F1. Well, I don't know if that really fixed the problem. <laughs> nah, it doesn't seem to really do much. <laughs> hmm. Said something about V-Sync, but I've not had this. That doesn't seem like it'd fix anything, really. Hmm. Just kind of looking at. Are you serious? Alright, well the fix is apparently Discord is fucking, was not minimized. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> That's such an obscure fucking thing, because now it's just not doing it at all, which is good. That's I don't want to click outside of the window with, unless I need to, like, when I'm like, pause. That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> There we go. That that caused me some strife last stream, and I I don't know if like when that became a problem or if it's always been a problem, but like yeah, that was causing me some strife where I was like misclicking and like in the middle of a fight. <laughs> like it happened a few times I think with the boss we fought last stream. I was just like, what the fuck? Let's see if we can make this jump. <gasps> Not really. That's okay. We can just swim across. Really? Is that how you guys say hello? Oh wait, no, it just did it again. I don't know how or why, but it just kind of did it again. Maybe I'm I'm just we're gonna do some testing here, I guess, for for science or something. I don't fucking know. I'm just annoyed. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go in here. We're gonna get some more some of these uh, yellow shrooms. We only really need 10. Which doesn't really take long to get. But if I can get like 20 or so, if I can get more than 10, I, I mean, I, I will. Yeah, there shouldn't be any enemies in this one anymore just because we, we went. This has this been cleared out for a long time. So 
we can kind of just roll through here. Apparently, I just entirely missed a fucking chest of stuff. You can have that, I guess. Uh, I don't really need that. I'd rather have that. Um, well, shit. I want these feathers just because feathers are just kind of convenient to be able to just kind of grab, but... Yeah, actually, yeah, we can just grab that. Because apparently I just missed this chest entirely when I came through here the first time, which had a little bit of stuff to sell for money, so that's slightly unfortunate, but mm, whatever. Granted, I came through here with, like, a, a tor maybe not even a torch. I was probably just, like, blindly stumbling in the dark. Trying to find these certain cores. Because that's how, you, that's how you get them initially. Well, that's how you usually get them initially is through coming through these dungeons. <clears throat> can I fit can I fit you somewhere? Uh, I could probably sacrifice two wood for some stuff that's worth money because woods fucking everywhere okay that might actually be everything in this dungeon maybe oh it definitely is yeah this one's not very uh exciting Oh, hey, mushrooms. <laughs> Again, a good reason to um, have the vegetation turned off if you're just exploring around. Because then you can mark the... Oh, there's a few more than I was expecting. only reason I'm going so hard to try to find these mushrooms is because one, the, one of the food recipes in the next area uses those mushrooms that you otherwise haven't really cared about since, like, the very beginning. So just having those marked down... Is a pretty good idea. See, an attempt was made to make this place a little bit more hospitable. I might, I might have to look at some other threads, see if other people have tried, because st I'm still getting clicking away things. It, it might be because um, I have OBS open, I don't know. Um...
Hmm. I'm trying to fig just figure this out because, um, yeah, I'm pretty frustrated. Hmm. I might have found a tool called dual monitor tool since I have more than one monitor that would uh, solve this problem. I might try to look into that real quick. Let me see. Oh. Fuck you, Windows. Let me run the program. I'm I'm not a I'm not a baby. <laughs> Windows is like we stopped this from running. Really? You're gonna tell me what I can do? Don't you just love it when you're trying to do something and Windows is like, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to see if I can get this fig this installed to get the Valheim from doing bullshit. It's, it's, it's not been a problem until recently. I'm just confused. Interesting. Well, this is a fun stream of me just trying to get something to work and then it not wanting to work.
Okay, monitors, blah, blah, blah. Now I gotta figure out how to actually use this, cause... See if, if this works. I, I don't really know if it's going to uh, suffering. I don't know if it's doing anything. Okay, I definitely didn't close this thing. At least I don't think I did. Um, sticky. Okay. We're troubleshooting in real time. Woo! I'm not really sure if I'm seeing any change. I'll have, to, I'll have to mess with this later. We'll just have to deal with it if it's still messing up. I, it's just, I'm just, it's, it's annoying. But that's just kind of what happens when you have more than one monitor, I guess. Anyway, let's put some crap away. I've just, I just been, I just burned a lot of t good time just messing around. <laughs> Which turns I did have some mushrooms left over. Whoops, whatever. It's fine. I want to make up another batch each of these uh, potions there. Or meads, rather. Same, same, same difference. It does this inconsequential. Which one you really say? Because they're kind of the same thing. Like a me, like meads act like potions do in other games. So it's eh.
We're gonna venture up and over to one of these other uh, dungeons up here. Drink some of my coffee before it gets too ice cold. Ah. Still has just a hint of uh, warmth left to it. Oh, hey, mushrooms. Even more mushrooms. Like a, a considerable amount of mushrooms. Mm. Which is like a big cluster of stuff right here. Those mushrooms would be useful eventually. going in this dungeon place nearby to get um, those yellow mushrooms so it's fine if we grab some other stuff on the way wrong way because <laughs> I was chasing after thistles and other garbage Oh, hey, more mushrooms. I just clicked out of the thing again, so yeah, I'm going to have to figure out how to actually get this this uh, dual monitor tools thing to actually be set up, because this is frustrating. Man, I think I have a temporary solution, at least. Okay, so I just have to very carefully move around stuff on, there we go. So I, ba I basically moved my top monitor, my, I, have, I have my monitor side by side, but I moved my top monitor to, uh, I moved my monitor and left to be on the bottom. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, what, I don't, I've lost control of my life. It's probably still going to mess up anyway, but... 
you know. Can you not? I'm trying to pick mushrooms. <laughs> Punk ass. I'm outside picking mushrooms, I'm inside picking mushrooms, like, we're just picking mushrooms. Picking mushrooms, picking, picking mushrooms. Grab a mushroom, put it in your pocket. <laughs> Who knows, maybe we missed some other treasure in here too. The only thing I don't think I've bought yet from the merchant anyway is the uh, fishing pole. Which I think in the future would be a good thing to have, but I don't think we really need it just yet. Because there are, there are, food, there are uh, food, uh, foods that later that use fish. That if you don't uh, have a fishing pole, makes fish a little harder to uh, find. There's like jack shit in this one. I'm probably gonna go to this other one too. Just cause it's pretty close by. Some kakarots there. a literal hole in the ground. <clears throat> Hopefully by doing this we'll not have to cut back and do this for a while. And by then if we do, hopefully these will be I don't know if these respawn in the same kind of time frame as the other mushrooms. And I know that I I'm pretty sure they have separate spawn spawner like kind of times, but like as far as like four out three hours or whatever I think that might probably still be their spawn respawn timing but I just don't really know I don't really I don't usually go too extensively hard on grabbing these yellow ones but last stream when we were playing around the swamp the stamina potions that you can make using these yellow ones saved my life so um, yeah we're gonna be at least a little more serious about it <laughs> And sometimes these little dungeons are very underwhelming. Like they're kind of they kind of are anyway, but like sometimes they're extremely so like to the point of like finding like almost no like of the core the main reason to come here early game is to get the startling course so you can start doing uh, metal processing with copper and tin and making bronze but sometimes you find some one of these and they just don't have like much of anything in them and they're just a bunch of fucking skeletons <laughs> and it's gonna kind of terrible Ooh, this is a kind of a bigger one though get a bunch of these little shrooms Well, I think that's all that this one has to offer. Alright. Well, that was fun.
Let us head this way. There's a skeleton. Which means there's probably a crypt nearby that I just never went into. Not that it really matters at this point. Like, we're, we're well past the point of it being really necessary. Got some bloobies, though. I like those. Get blocked. <laughs> yeah. It's just was ill advised of me to come up come do this without getting my rest of bonus back because it just takes longer. To do everything. Oh excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, I was just like trying to run uphill to grab this stuff and I think I clicked off the monitor again. Uh for the most part, I think it's th that would be a fix for, um, I, I gotta figure out this tool thing I downloaded, that dual monitor tools, because I don't really have an issue with other games, it's just Valheim specifically, it seems like. And as you can probably see, Valheim's also making my little PNG thingy mess up too, so it's just like, kinda sucky. Game's great, but it's just there's some weirdness with other stuff. Yeah, I think after we uh, get in, sleep, and uh, drop off a bunch of stuff, we're probably going to start sailing off and trying to find uh, that new place to live probably check on those actually I've not really been thinking about those lately in the slightest so are you kidding me No, I don't have time for this. Where are you? I just literally do not have time or patience for that. It's a, that that deal. <laughs> Just make a new freaking door. Oh, that's another 13 mushrooms. That'll be good for. Oh, no, I'm not sleeping, it looks like, because um, it's, it's morning time. Oh yeah, we were gonna go raid a freaking dungeon, weren't we? <laughs> Shit. 
There's just never enough time to do stuff in this game when you're only streaming it for like three hours a week. <laughs> There's like way too much to do. Those are still kind of doing seed things anyway, so that's fine. Alright. Let's fix up our stuff and... Then we'll go to that dungeon. I only want, iron, I only want to get a bunch of iron for stuff like making like... For non-armor and weapon kind of things, because we're going to be able to, um, we're going to be able to make some silver armor and stuff going forward, so I'm not really worried about upgrading my, that, my armor from what I have now until we get to that point. I just want to do one dungeon so I can have some iron to do other stuff with, so. We'll just do one. It honestly shouldn't take that long. I heard someone shooting a bow somewhere. Punk ass. Okay, yeah, I needed a few of those. I mean, it's some wood. I also want to get this wet debuff off me. Don't worry about picking up any of these bones anymore because we fought we've beaten bone mass Ooh, that's why we're checking what's why we're here is just a bunch of iron and sometimes the chests just get really lucky rolls well I think all this like stuff is predetermined like the loot and stuff I would want to say it's probably all predetermined because this is a this game does stuff based off of seeds like Minecraft does so there's not like any like really What's not fucking necessary? Why are you here? Come here. I I go in the dungeon for like five seconds and I come out and my chest is destroyed. <laughs> Motherfucker, whatever. 
I would build it up top, but we're gonna be like, tr you know, transporting stuff to and from this dungeon. So we're we're gonna want to, uh, you know, have that accessible. more food all right there's probably not much left there we're gonna put iron up there so I can see how much I have You definitely get a decent amount of iron from just cutting through these uh, scrap piles. But the real hope is that you find some uh, that you find some chest rooms, and those chest rooms have iron in those boxes, because that just makes you get a lot more for the same time usage. Let's get a rested bonus real quick. We'll just kind of stick by this fire there we go oh no we have the comfort cuz you have to get comfort by not being near enemies I believe so let's see if maybe we stand right here we can get the, the rested boost Yeah, you get a pretty big um, stamina regen by having the rested boost. Like, it's significant to the point where you almost always want to have it if you can. Just because it makes doing anything much better. any more slimes over here so we're probably gonna swap to uh, this so I can fucking see <laughs> cuz that's one downside of having the um, having the root helmet for your poison uh, re resistance so you don't like die of poison is uh, you can't use this hat unless there's no poison enemies around which I mean that's fine it's whatever It's also just the case if you have enough HP, then it doesn't matter much anyway, but... Ow! Punk ass. Bop. Boop to snoot. Boop the snoot. All right. <clears throat> yeah, if you're really unlucky, if you are really unlucky when you find one of these dungeons, it will generate with like, like I had one before where it generated with like no enemies, no treasure chests, and like 
three rooms. <laughs> it was very underwhelming. And it was felt like a bit of a it was a bit of a waste of time. But sometimes you just get ones with like tons of treasure rooms and like tons of iron, so it's all just luck of the draw, honestly. I'm hoping we can spend at least like the last like hour just sailing around trying to find a new place to live. I hear a Draugr spawner in here because they have like their bo body piles. So they have like the, the, the flies buzzing around. Oh, I can see a, a Draugr elite over there already. I wonder if I can sneak a shot at him because he's like up top a little bit. I could sneak a little sneaky shot at him. Nope. Nah, whatever. Ooh, is that multiple elites? Ooh, that would be nasty if it didn't have better gear already. Kind of nasty as it is, but, you know. Yeah, that would be a death sentence if I was just still here and, like, leather gear or like basically like if it, without a better shield as it is the guys they, they still do a lot of damage Nice booty. Nice little skeleton booty. I could probably just hop up there and deal with them. But that sounds like it would go badly. Yeah, I, as you can see, it's, it would probably just go badly if I do it that way. So we're gonna just uh I'm not trying to kill him with the pickaxe, but if that's how we do it, so be it. <laughs> God, this fucking game sometimes. That's so that's so cheesy. <laughs> uh, how fucking ridiculous. Get me out of this goddamn hole. Please and thank you. What a mess. Anyway. These things can show up in here too to show you where the third boss spawn point is. But we already know that because we already fought them and beat them. So it's not necessary. Ooh, chains and treasure. Yeah, we should probably go unload stuff after we break open uh, this little boulder here. 
Their weight's pretty getting pretty close to maxed out. Our inventory is pretty full. Yeah, clearing these dungeons out can take a take a hot minute because there's just a lot to them. Plus, our pickaxe is a little busted up, so we want to fix that up. Of all the stuff to make out of iron, I definitely had needed to have a, at least the iron pickaxe made. Like that's a requirement going forward, because to get the next level of metal, you need this pickaxe. It's kind of like a a tiered kind of progression thing. Let's see. Well, unless there's some rooms between behind these, this will be a, end up being a dead end. Okay, let's hop up here, get our stuff on, and because it might be nighttime out here, or maybe we pass by the nighttime. All right, well, so far we've gotten like th like fifty something iron from this dungeon. That's a pretty good amount, all things considered. Cannot complain there. All right, I'm gonna grab these thistles just because they're just kind of here in my face. Same with those ones. Stinky. I'm sure he'll make his way over here at some point. Offloads of stuff. Got even more sausage casings. <laughs> treasures to sell some more chains we're gonna need some chains for upgrade for the next uh, level of armor that's made of silver which <clears throat> silver is a lot less annoying to get than some of the other it's a lot less annoying to mine it or get it than it is for a lot of the other metals because it generates in these big kind of like like cross kind of patterns so many of these damn bones <laughs> what am I looking for that <clears throat> all right let's put away this key <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to get rid of this bow. I'll throw it over here cuz uh, once we get uh, more established in the mountain area, we're going to be upgrading to a much better bow than this, even. So, this will then kind of be able to be stored in, like, reserve in case something goes wrong and need to fight something with arrows. Okay... So far, so good. I don't really need these, um, these frost meads on my person right now. Are those medium heals? 
probably not gonna need those right now either. Okay, this is still going. Hydrate. Thank you, thank you, bud. Good morning. <clears throat> I'm we're clearing out a uh, one of the uh, swamp dungeons so I can get some iron to have chests and stuff. And then uh, we're gonna sail around to try to find a new place to base because this little place is not super super suitable for the mid game. I get to take a lot of effort to get stuff back here. Like uphill and just it's not ideal. So my prime my, my prime places of interest I'm gonna be searching is probably this thing where I think I saw a mount a big mountain. And our boat's right there and we're in this crypt. Eat some more some more snacks. Uh, let's check on our our tornips. Oh, looks like we got some flap some flurs. Some turnip flowers. Like a lawnmower. Brondo the thirst mutilator. It's like shaving your chest with a lawnmower. <laughs> Another 200, another 210 turnip seeds. So let's plant those. It's gonna take a while to plant. Gonna take a take a little bit to plant those. Let's pick all these damn dandelions. I rip it, rip and rip a roo. Brian's to come to the issue of the old, yeah, old Xbox, and Chris doesn't want to move on without him. That's fair. I was wondering, because I know we didn't play any of this last week, and I was wondering what was, was up, so. Alrighty, cool, cool, cool. Um, well, at some point, if you want to play with me on, like, the weekend or, like, Sundays or whatever, we can probably just have, I could probably figure out how to set up a Valheim server on my PC or something, and we could do that. <clears throat> yeah. Admittedly, I have not been that far on my own yet. I've not really been past the. I've not even really been to the plains by myself yet. So it was, just, it was all just like me, kind of just tagging along and seeing kind of some of the content that was available there. Okay, let's see. Trying to get this angle right. Probably gonna have a nicer farm whenever we find a new base because this. Yeah. I think the last I remember the last thing we were doing is like like when we ended off we were um we found that one cool like those little dwarf people out in the middle of the ocean. It's pretty cool. That'd be a pretty sick base, honestly. Let's get this let's go all these turnips planted. Could probably be like 12 rows of like 19. Okay, it's under stamina recharge a hair. Ah, shit. That sucks. I hate when stuff like that happens. It, it feels bad because there's like not much you can really do about it. And then the game just punishes you, kind of. Admittedly, it is, the Xbox version is still very new. Yeah. I, I would honestly wait a little bit longer to try playing it again until they get some more updates because they, they know there's some stuff up with the Xbox version. Like, they definitely know their stuff. And they did they actually released a patch like, um, like five hours ago with some changes, like some fixes, I guess. Probably not like 
enough to like justify much, but they're working on it, you know. And hey, that's pretty good too. Uh, let's see. yeah, we're just trying to get this shit planted. And me, my well of planting things this way is that like sometimes I'll just subconsciously move the mouse a little bit and then my lines will be all messed up and then it's all messy and then fuck you know <laughs> I wish there was like a better way to plant oh absolutely yeah I feel you there man totally I can totally understand the, uh, hes the hesitation to doing group play stuff like that whenever it's like so volatile. Okay, should be like one or two more rows, yeah. Yeah, you're just like, hmm. I'm the only one that can currently play. Well, shit. <laughs> And turn up. No, that's fair. I can I can respect it if that if that like left kind of like a sour sourness. I would I would wait a little bit till they can to play it again till they can kind of figure out more of the issues with um just stuff in general. It's been pretty stable on PC for a while now, but I can imagine there's probably a lot of those kind of issues early on too, just because. I think they're a small dev team, so it just takes a little bit longer for everything to kind of get squared away. But it'll get there. They've been, they've been, they've done phenomenal work, and I can only see it still doing pretty good going forward. Yeah, let's hop back to our swamp dungeon that we're playing around in. Just trying to get some iron to make some ch some better chests when we do settle down somewhere. Let's sit here and get our rusted bonus back up to full. I especially like having uh, campfires in these dungeons because sometimes you can get wet going like th some just around places so uh, it's just nice to have okay anything that way no anything that way no I think we went this way and let's swap to our our flashlight okay that's the this is the place we previously just cleared out so let's grab our pickass Blop. 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 Uh. All right, what did I, is there anything in here? Looks like I already got it, whatever it was. Let me double check, yeah. I right, don't need that bone. I've already fought bone mass. I'm almost certain. I'm almost like 100% sure there's like a slime over here. So I gotta put my root helmet on. Yeah, I hear him. Dead. All right, now you're dead. <laughs> All right, and you know what we got? Oh, I've been getting this dungeon was real, has been really lucky with iron so far. Like, I think there's been like two or three chests, and I think at least two of them have had like 18 iron each. <laughs> so it's 
It feels pretty good that I, this is the one I chose to kind of go through. Because, yeah, we're, we're getting a nice amount. I'm going I'm to have to gra grab a cart from my base and drag it over here. So I can haul it all back on my boat. Oh, there's the slime. I was like, where is this fucking slime I keep hearing? And it's just kind of stuck. Don't know if there's more. But I suppose we'll find out. breaking the scrap pile stuff. <clears throat> Don't hear any more slimes, so we're gonna switch back to this. So I can see just a little better. Now I'm wet. <laughs> Some amber. Amber, I barely even know her. Alright. Nothing there. And I think we got like one more chunk right here to go through. And it looks like there might be a room on the other side. So hopefully it's like a treasure room. Because, yeah, that would be nice to have just an even more stuff. Oh no, it looks like it's one of those little staircase rooms that don't usually lead to much. Yep, this is probably the last uh, muddy scrap pile in the dungeon that I've break broken in it. Leads to nothing. That's okay. I'd say this dungeon's above average for the amount of stuff it had in it. Okay. And while I'm at it, I might as well grab these little fucking things. If they're if they're convenient to grab at least. total we got um, 85 iron from that dungeon that was pretty good it's pretty good haul it's a pretty good haul so what we're gonna do now is let's go ahead offload stuff that isn't iron basically got some more money I could probably afford the fishing rod and some bait now but I'm not really that like in dire, I'm not in dire need of fish or anything like that, so it's just like, mm, whatever. Alright, let's put these fucking bones away. 
almost too many. Okay, let's eat some more food. We'll top that off. We might go ahead and just make some more food in general while we're at it. I need uh, this. No, I don't need thistles. I need uh, boar meat. And we'll just kind of top off our food because it, it's going to be a little bit before we can get to doing stuff with the onions and stuff from the next biome. So we might as well just uh, keep our current best food kind of topped up. back all right okay me saying that I have 20 nails there means that I definitely don't have a cart somewhere because you make like a you can make like a uh, I think the moral of the story is you make a hundred nails I can't remember how many nails you get per bar for bronze. But yeah, I think I just, like, I end up making, like, a cart and then I make the boat, usually. It's kind of the order I usually do it, just because the cart can be really nice to have. Uh, it's looking a little close to sleepy time, so let's grab our honey and then we'll just sleep. I don't really want to deal with any wraiths while I'm trying to drag a cart full of iron, a cart with iron in it. <laughs> that's not, that's not like it'd be a bad idea. <laughs> So, we've got, we got this dungeon cleared out nice and easy. It wasn't really that bad. Let's see, I believe our, our boat is over this way. We'll probably try to approach it from that way as well. So, let's make our cart. Let's grab that, because that will, we can fit an, uh, we can fit a stack of iron in our bag without getting overweighed, so that's at least less in the cart that will slow the cart down. However, we are going to want to take our portal and stuff with us, so let's, um, on the map too. Um, let's put those away. And then we'll destroy this as well. And then we'll start dragging our mangy corpse through the swamp. I didn't realize I brought <laughs> honey with me. Whoops. Oh well. Alright. Oh, of course there's a fucking tree. Uh, and I left my goddamn I left my goddamn axe at home too because I haven't been really using it for fucking anything. But no, no, there, no there's a tree now. That's fine. Oh, 
Come up. Up. Jesus Christ. Well, this is going poorly. <laughs> I'm gonna hide around the side here to get some H a little bit of HP back from this fucking asshole. Looks like we're gonna probably head back to, um... I mean, this is a kind of a flat enough spot, I guess, to deal with this asshole. Gonna get step away for a second to get our uh, stamina back a little bit. Go away, you too. I'm I'm busy. <laughs> I'm just trying to deal with this asshole, to just destroying the entire swamp. Really? When did I when did I get my when did I have my shield unequipped? You're annoying. Pain in the ass. God, this tree is annoying. It's destroyed everything in the swamp. Well, not everything, but. Pain in the ass. Holy shit. Wow. What a mess. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of wood and stuff here that would be a shame to not pick up, so let's put a table down here, I guess. Let's find where our damn cart is. Oh, our cart's fine, at least. That's nice. And these guys are just like like standing on the on the standing on the stoop being like, hey, you guys need anything? <laughs> Let's grab all this garbage. Don't have my axe on me. That's why it took way, way longer to fight than otherwise. Because, yeah, maces aren't super good against the trees. Can you go away? I mean, I, did, I do need some more uh, blood bags, so... Of all the annoyances, at least the leeches are one I need to kill. As far as like loose wood goes, we got all that we can from here. We we could cut we could bring our axe back and cut down the other stuff, but I don't just don't really care. I I just don't really care about it. We are gonna take a portal back real quick to drop some stuff off because it's just like a bunch of just stuff we don't need. Good stack or so of wood, though. So, I mean, wasn't all bad. Just a, a bit scuffed. But, again, that's kind of like 
ninety percent of what I do anyway on a on a on a normal basis, so it's not really at, not really too shocking. Right, cool. I'm hoping at the very least to um, get to where the boat is parked and um, yeah. When did you get down here? And what did you get down here? Equip the damn mace, please. I, I definitely pressed the hotkey. I'm not a fan of when that happens. Burb. The good thing about this swampy water, though, at least, is that the cart will just float. So I can kind of go through this without as many problems as you may expect. Because the cart will just float. Which honestly makes it easier to get through if you just wade through the garbage. <laughs> the garbage water. Now, if you don't have a uh, means to resist poison, you probably don't want to do that. So, um, yeah, just be mindful. If you if you decide to play this game yourself, be mindful of uh, going into the, the the swamp water without poison resist, because the leeches will eat your ass alive. Again, I do need the blood bags though, because my uh my the black soup that I'm eating is made with blood bags, so it's good to have those. Alright, let's Though once we get though once we get um enough stuff going with uh with um the next biome to get a, a thing of next food's wolf skewers. The next best kind of like food food is wolf skewers. We will be um, getting, we'll be ditching the black suit because, yeah. Yeah, I'm not not entirely happy with being in this area because you can see there's a uh, planes pretty close by so I want to get out of here as soon as possible so that we don't have any um, shenanigans since my carts being uh, being coy with me we're gonna we'll just put Doing my best to like not be here much longer because I am not prepared to deal with uh, the planes. Like I could probably I could probably parry a death mosquito, but that's a, I don't still don't feel great about the thought of it because I've got a buckler, which means I can I can parry up to seventy five, but. Yeah, I'm not really I don't even know what's going on over there and I don't really want to know. Admitted, admittedly though, if I was gonna make a dock area I'd probably further that way away from the, the planes, but we're not gonna really worry about that right now. We're just gonna get this iron 
And, um... Beat the shit out of our cart. Fix our boats. And again, I think we're gonna st at least stop by this area where the, that says mount, possibly a mountain. Uh, perhaps I should back up. Yeah. Yeah, there's planes right there, and I'm, uh... Is that a goblin village? Literally, oh, <laughs> hello, troll. <laughs> Just boop. Just poofs right into existence. What a lad. What a lad. Yeah, I think that was, I think there was literally a goblin village right next to where I was docking at, and I just didn't get bothered by him. That's pretty lucky, because I would have died probably several times over if. Even one of them had decided that I was worth deal worth bothering, or if I was just close enough, I guess. Oh boy, it's Misty, my favorite. Kind of just blindly sailing towards whatever landmass this is, and hopefully it's uh, not a uh, plains, because that would be a uh, bad. Matter of fact, I might uh, just kind of sail this way to kind of get closer to whatever shore this might be. Oh, the wind changed. Perfect. Okay, it might be Black Forest, which would be ideal, honestly, because then I could just be pretty safe and uh, figuring out what to do from there. I mean, I was trying to avoid setting up in another Black Forest. <laughs> Fucking great orb is just on a little, just on a little island. Five foot apart because they're not gay. again. I'm feeling this weather is only in the ocean biome. <laughs> okay, that's like an actual island. <laughs> I was wondering if that was one of those turtles, but no, that's that's an actual island. Ooh, there's a swamp over there. That looks like a mountain too. Maybe. We might end up posting up on this little, uh, this little 
black forest island set over here because it's getting dark and I don't want to like be sailing at night it's a little more scuffed sailing by yourself and dealing with um, the uh, what you call them, the the sea serpents like you can be a bit more scuffed yeah I think there's a mountain definitely a mountain over there so let's uh, carefully park our boat probably not on top of a rock the next door rock would be would be satisfactory Destroyed. Oh, it's you. Damn, I was able to stun that dude even. <laughs> Just whack. That may be the first time. I think that might be the first time I've seen one of those be staggered like that. That's interesting. I didn't know if they were able to be because they're kind of like a bigger, like slightly bigger. And oh, it's a good thing there's just like just enough standing room right here that would have been a very funny but pathetic way to just die <laughs> out here in the middle of the freaking ocean stuff off and continue investigating this mountain question mark area and if it's suitable we'll start trying to get things uh, going over there like we'll start just moving stuff over too much of some of certain things <laughs> At some point in the near future we're gonna be cutting down all the um all the birch trees I have planted kind of around the area. This house is nice and cozy, but it'd be nice to have a bigger one. We can still do something like this there as well as needed. Okay, let's put this back on and let's 
sleep, and then we'll continue our adventure. sure that um, our turnips are still kind of just growing. They're probably not going to be ready until like a little bit longer, but we got, we got them planted. So I'll probably, be, I'll probably be worrying about those next stream as opposed to like this one just because, yeah. Back to the boat. Pecky. Buddy. He's just yell he's just like yelling on himself in the living room. Once we find a suitable place, we're going to be moving all those portals over as well. Alright, so. Frankly, not even that far away from where this, like, mountain kind of marker is. It's back up, actually. We might try sailing around. This kind of area. Just kind of scope out the area. Because I would prefer if we could live in a um, meadows. I mean, there's a little meadows right here, but that's also just a little far from the mountain. And that may not be like a deal breaker necessarily. I just want to be not over here. Oh, I was like, wait, why are we not going anywhere? What? <laughs> I think we were still had like just and the inertia was still pushing us backwards, so like us not having any wind was causing it to just Oh, the, the freaking wind changed on me. I thought it was gonna be where we'd be able to I mean we got a little bit of wind. Probably just enough to be worth using the sails. But only just. There's like a little meadows right there, but eh. hello fish. <laughs> fish just, just thinking about its life a little bit. Understandable. Yeah, just at the very least, sailing at this speed around the Black Forest area is very safe because the Black Forest is pretty safe. The only thing that could even be roughly problematic would be a troll, but even then, we can parry trolls, it's not a big deal. Speaking of which, there's a troll cave. I 
I might park near this troll cave. And we might just, no, 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 it'd be faster probably going by boat. Even if the wind is against me, it's probably faster because I don't have to worry about stamina. Probably gonna scrape against this rock a little bit. Oh no, thank you, thank you, Eat Ocean. There's a little spawner thing up there. Yeah, the elevation gets pretty high, so I think that mountain is gonna be over here. I didn't get a direct, like, glimpse of the mountain. Yep, the rest of the stream is going to be spent just kind of exploring this area, trying to see... Admittedly, it's not that far away from all this stuff. So maybe over here would be better to kind of look for. I'll have a higher chance of kind of finding the area I want closer to that spot. This would be nice if the wind was a little bit nicer right now because it's literally just blowing me right in the wrong it's blow, blow me right in the wrong place <laughs> it's blowing directly in the wrong direction another silly statements <laughs> I'd want to say that's like a river? Could be wrong though. Mm, um, I don't think that's a river actually, not thinking about it. Nah, it looks like that's probably a little cove, which admittedly that's pretty cool. Pretty cool little like, cove area, but I don't know, maybe it is a river. I'm willing to risk it. I don't know if I've seen a river quite this scuffed looking before. Usually they're pretty uniform in their uh, composition, but this one's looking a little, a little fucky. I might just hop out of the boat and take a look anyway, because yeah, it's like it's looking like it turns mostly to land. We'll take a look though. Yeah, it, it mostly just turns back to land. Lots of tin though, jeez. If I needed, if I needed bronze for some reason, we definitely would uh, have that. It'd probably be in our best interest to kind of sail over this area instead. So we'll get back on our little boat. Well, it's not exactly a little boat anymore. Hello, Nakora. Good morning, or afternoon, or whatever time it is. <laughs> we are sailing. Well, now the wind decides it wants to be in the, a nice direction for us. 
because we're going to be heading back this way, kind of like over here, trying to find a new place to base. So it looks like this is pretty connected to this, so I probably want to just not. So let's flip our boat around. Boop. <laughs> it just booped the boat snoot. And let's get some of the wind in our sails. Dude's just swimming out after me. <laughs> Trying to throw a fucking rock at me. What a prick. And let's just sail away. Later, nerd. Uh, coming this way, uh, the wind was blowing directly against us. So we're. I, I thought I saw a big mountain right where this spot is. So that's why I have that marked, and that's why we're kind of sailing around this area. Because the next. Uh, hello, big troll dude. Big blue butt cheeks. Yeah, this game. This game's pretty. It's not like super high polygon count, but it's like aesthetically pleasing in a lot of ways. But yeah, we're trying to. The next biome we need to be going to is the mountain, and I thought I saw a big mountain over here when we're sailing over this way. So that's kind. Of, we're trying to see if we can find set up a new base somewhere near. A mountain and preferably kind of close to a plains as well but not too close because we don't want to actually spawn that plane stuff because it's pretty strong so now we're just gonna sail back this way it looks like the wind changed again it's a little less favorable to what we want to where we want to be going but We're gonna sail through this little passage here. I wasn't sure if we'd actually make it up. Oh. <laughs> I hit a rock. Um, boat's looking a little green. Maybe we should fix it. It's probably fine, but. It's looking a little, looking a little green. Why are you, I kind of thought I killed all the stuff that spawned at this little house. Eh, maybe not. Yeah, we'll, we'll put down a little bench here and fix our boat. Let's see. Oh, I took a bit more damage than I was expecting to on the boat. That's why I was looking a little green. Eh, that's fine. Whee, jump, jump on the boat and let's go. It's probably me like running pretty high speed into Am I stuck on a rock? God damn it. I I I think I am stuck on a goddamn rock. I might I might be off of the rock now. <laughs> the the underwater rocks are like the worst. When you're trying to sail and you're just like stuck on a damn rock. It's less of a problem with the uh, first the first real boat you can make. Because that one uh, has, rides a lot higher on the water than this one does. But this one's boat's way bigger and has like a lot more storage space. Of course we're going... We're going to be turning the boat in a direction that is uh, not supported by the wind, so we're going to have to just kind of sail at, with the oars. Exhilarating. Exhilarating, like, two miles per hour gameplay. Sailing is a satisfying part of the game. It's just kind of problematic when the wind is not going where you need it to go. Which, since the wind's being so un uncooperative, we might like just kind of dock up on the shore over here. 
and kind of investigate on foot. So they don't have to worry quite as much about the wind when you're on foot. <laughs> yeah, and the wind is now blowing directly away from where we were trying to go. <laughs> All these nasty little blue fish flying around. Okay, there's a swamp over there. That's cool. I don't know if that's... I don't know if it's a good swamp or not. Like, I don't know if it has, like, dungeons and all that. Probably not. It looks pretty small, but... For now, we'll just kind of park next to this rock, I guess. the boat on the map so that I know where to find it okay and I have all the stuff I need to make another put my portal back so we're gonna just see if maybe the maybe the mountain is over here I don't know there's this blue looking dude though kind of gross You're not very strong, but you're at least kind of, you're just, he's just, a, he's just, he's feeling blue. Kill these little dudes, I need to eat some food. Alright, well, let's see if we can find this mountain, I guess. I got a feeling I might have, um, it might not be right where I thought it was. I was just kind of like driving by and thought, I was like, oh, is that a mountain? And the answer is probably not. It might be over this way, actually. Oh, well, that's annoying. Let's leave that alone. It just spawns a bunch of these little dudes. <laughs> okay, do y'all my? Oh, you're red. Not very strong anymore, but yeah, whatever. I'm just trying to go about my own my own business and all these critters are trying to make it my problem. Of course they are. Ooh, mushrooms. Let me grab those. Just a lot of dudes. They're not very strong dudes. Like I can, I can just mow them down pretty easily, but there's just a lot of them. Oh, it's because there was one of these little kind of like mini dungeon things. Boop, booped him right in his little tree snoot, I guess. Yeah, I, mountain, the mountain is nowhere near where I marked th that. Uh, I have a feeling it's over here this way, though, so we'll just kind of explore this way. Whee! a river here okay a bunch of deer they're not a bunch but just like some deer you missed all right it might be more it might be wor more worth it now that the wind's kind of changing how it is to um, get back on the boat because <laughs> the wind is uh, at least kind of blowing roughly in the direction I would want to go. Ooh, mushrooms. Any mushrooms I see, I should grab just because 
one of the foods in the next area of the game uses mushrooms to, to cook, so it's nice to just have more of those. It's kind of kind of nasty out right now. I should probably not sail in these conditions. But, you know... Oh, there's a rock. Wow, yeah, this is like the worst possible conditions to sail in. Jeez, okay, uh, yeah, let's, uh, stop, like, right here. <laughs> And we'll leave and come back and all that fun, all that fun business, because it's it's kind of gross out. But we got the power of magical portals, so we can just leave, just just hit the bricks. <laughs> Wee! And then any extra stuff I have, I'll just drop off in these little boxes. Uh, this box. Yeah. We're slow but surely, kind of progressively. Slowly but surely getting more mushrooms to prepare for the next, uh kind of tier of food. Alright. Sleepy time! Whee! Like I'm sure those turnips might, some of those might be done, but I'm not that worried about it. We've got, we got a good amount of food right now anyway, and we can make more. So I'm not concerned about harvesting those if they're done. Because in the next biome, we'll get a new vegetable to grow. So, yeah. That might be separated by a uh, by water, but I don't know. We're gonna take a closer look on foot. Right now I'm wet because <laughs> I fell in the water. Cause yeah, I don't want to really sail my boat too far through uh, a swamp because there's leeches in the water that will greedily attack gr gratefully and greedily attack your boat so let's uh not risk our put our boat at risk like that if we can avoid it but if this river actually goes somewhere then we can use that to kind of cut around somewhere else There's a troll up there. Hello, buddy. Hmm. It kind of looks like it might go somewhere, but... I want to, like, kind of follow it down to make sure it actually does. Otherwise, we'll... It's good. It's probably gonna be a pain. It'd probably be a pain getting the boat through... Nah, we want... we're not getting that boat through this fucking little river anyway. So let's head back to the boat. We'll try to sail around the swamp area and see if maybe that mountain is... The mountain might be, like, up there, actually. Let's just kind of hop over. We're already wet anyway. Let's just go on get over. I 
don't think this is a mountain, but it's pretty high up, so we should be able to see any other mountains nearby if they are, in fact, nearby. <laughs> like, I wanted to say there'd be, like, one, like, over here, but... We might be just barking up the wrong tree. Although that cloud formation is kind of promising, so we'll kind of continue off this way. Ooh, mushrooms. I don't expect to be in this area going forward, so I'm not really marking anything that's like here. I'll happily grab it though, because it's just more stuff. I think roughly right here is where the boat is now. We've moved it. Looks like that turns back to uh, meadows, which is nice, but um, hmm. this at least looks like a more accessible river, but we might end up having to go around the swamp a little bit. Go away. Go back to the water. I mean, I can go in the swamp. It's not like I'm not haven't done that past few streams anyway, but Oh, look, we got some leeches. Leeches, thankful, thanks for our home, they're not that dangerous if they bite us. Their, their poison only does a little bit per damage tick, and it, so it's fine, but it's just... Just trying to figure out where it's going to be best to sail through. Honest, I think we're just gonna check and see if that if there even is a mountain over here in the first place. <laughs> Fish just like beached itself. Let's go a little further away from all the leeches and shit if we're gonna swim across this uh, river. Well, uh, there might be enough space there for the boat to squeeze through, but if not, we'll have to like break some of these rocks. I'd probably be doing better if I was just sailing randomly around the world trying to spot big mountains and what I'm doing, but yeah, it's fine.
Oh. <laughs> That's kind of spooked me a little bit. Um. Got a nice open field right here with a bunch of boars. None of them are anything to really write home about, but that's okay. Still very interested in seeing if there's like a mountain over here because of just how the clouds look. Ooh, that's a fucking mountain. That might have been the one I saw actually. <laughs> Like if it's that, if that's that high of an elevation, that far away, that's probably a pretty good mountain. So let's see. How about oh. Let's see, how far away roughly do we think that is? Um, how about... Well, I know it's a mountain, but like that's kind of roughly where I think it might be. <clears throat> so now we gotta get back to our boat, which... I mean, it's probably not gonna be that bad, honestly. And then we can spend the rest of the stream paddling our goddamn long ship out like through through the ocean because the wind is blowing the entirely wrong way <laughs> what the fuck else is new though get him get him get his ass Got his ass. No chomp. Rude ass. There's a leech over here. Scamper on through. Bonk. Yeah, this is a very inconsequential swamp here. You can spawn droggers, but that's. Ooh, and these nasty one-star leeches are uh, not to be trifled with because they they got a fair bit more HP. Boop. Let's boop that. Get that. Oh, of course. The perfect time to have one of these shitty trees show up is just like right when I'm trying to run through all this shallow ass water. Perfect timing, you know? Like, sometimes it's just things just work out. Go, get out of my goddamn way, Grey Dwarf. I don't have time for you right now. <laughs> I'm running away from this tree. Hmph. <laughs> At least I know where I, where I need to sail around at now, at least. You 
Yeah, we're not sailing through that. We're just gonna be sailing like directly around. Excuse me. Go away. Stop it. Stop following me. No. Yeah, I, was like, I should be able to go back to land to get my stamina back, but I was really hoping I could make that jump. Boing. There we go. Boing. Yep. 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 I'm already wet. Who cares? But it's just... I just wanted to make the jump. <laughs> I just wanted the satisfaction of knowing I made the jump. All right. I want to at least get to that pl that island where that mountain is and kind of poke around before we end stream. So I got like 16 minutes, but who knows if the uh, like who knows if the um, the wind will cooperate. Like judging based off of like. How it has things have been going? Probably not. Also, a little annoyed that I wasted so much time running around this black forest trying to find a mountain that didn't exist that I missed saw because it's probably this. This is the one I probably saw, but I have actually confirmed that it looks like a big mountain. So we'll be going there next. I guess it's not the end of the world. I got like some mushrooms and some other stuff that is useful to find. Oh, there goes our rested bonus, so our stamina drain is... Our stamina usage is gonna be a little stunted. I don't got time for you, sorry. get our stem back and then we'll kill this asshole just swim across the river mm -hmm. Okay, and our boat should be roughly around this place. Roughly, I don't know exactly where I left it, but it, it, I think it was probably a little, a little further up the shore. Yeah, I think I see the sail. Yeah, there we go. And of course the, the wind is not blowing necessarily in our favor. Why would it? Punk ass tree. Let me catch my breath, damn you. I actually one shot that one, alright, that works. <laughs> Yeah, since the wind's not exactly the best, we'll probably just we'll probably go back to sleep and then come back and hopefully have better wind and not possibly be nighttime. Maybe if I can place the damn bench, that'd be great. Thank you. All right. Damn you, wind. Sailing's a little hard to do when the wind doesn't want you to go somewhere. <sighs> Just possibly getting bit bit by bit more and more uh, just 
stuff from those gray dwarves because it's just like death by a thousand cuts. You just they slowly but surely just fill up all your your wood and stone st stockpiles. Ooh, we got a fish. We can use that to train our fishing at some point. Because you should, I think you can put those fish back out into the world and catch them over and over again. Yeah, I'm, good call on me making the portal come back because the starting, sun's starting to go down. So let's. didn't really pay attention but did the wind change um yeah that's actually a fairly a, a, a much better direction for our um our needs so let's just swim over to the ladder get up oh we got a swimming uh, level up good for us and we are going to um be backing up a little and sailing that way. Not not the not an ideal direction for us, but cuz the mountain is like over here. Boop. I just need to get around this swamp, so it's gonna be a little slow going until we do. But I'd say we, I'd say ten minutes, is probably plenty of time to kind of get where we need to go. Because once we kind of get around this little peninsula of swamp, we should be able to flip around and sail with the wind, mostly <coughs> towards the mountain. But as is, we should be able to start turning and getting a bit more speed. Sail kind of passed out, out past where this tree is. And... Ooh, biometric data. Nice. Hope you enjoy your watch. So in this way, we should be heading almost directly towards where the island is, and hopefully the brown area I saw near the mountain is um, black forest or plant, uh, meadows, because if it's plains, we're going to have to figure out something, because plains is biome 5, Ma the mountain is biome 4, we don't want to really be setting up, I mean, we want to set up at a mountain that's kind of near plains, because then we can kind of like... It's kind of just convenient, but we also don't want to set up a base near planes because the things in there are strong and annoying. And we are not ready for that. For, for We're not ready for the monsters there. Because they are, they are a little strong. So hopefully we'll just be sailing through this little canal. Oh, okay. Well, that'd be cool. That'd be cool to f be able to, like, know when you're, like, kind of reaching your limit or whatever of, of, like, things like that. Yeah, I know for me, burnout kind of just hits very suddenly. 
like a ton of bricks it's like oh I'm not having fun or I'm not enjoying this and then like I just kind of stop <laughs> if it's something I can just drop like that my brain's like hey nope fuck that <laughs> like immediately Perpetually exhausted. Okay, I think that's a swamp over here near this mountain, so. It's not ideal to set up in either. So hopefully there's like another biome nearby. I guess we'll find out. I'm just tired of being in this misty ass ocean. And I can hardly see anything. Ooh, okay. So far, so good. Looks like we've got... Ah, uh, I do see some planes over there. But I do see that there's meadows right here. Oh, ooh, okay. We're gonna have to carefully navigate this uh, situation. Because that, gr that kind of brownish stuff over there is uh, the planes. We don't want to be near that. We want to be in this green biome. It's a lot nice. It's a lot safer. So we're gonna... We'll probably kind of pull alongside this little shoreline here and figure out what our biome situation is. Because this looks like it's mostly... um. <laughs> There's nowhere to hide. No, no, there, there, there really fucking isn't. Okay, it looks like we've kind of found almost the, the perfect layout of what I would want. Being, um, well, we're gonna we're gonna mark our boat here. Um, the mountain's not there. The mountain's like over the yonder. Uh, so we had another thing for boat there yeah let's uh over there is more planes so the situation is a bit like um a meadow surrounded by planes but then there's a mountain and the mountains where we want to go so we've mostly just got to be cautious and try to thread the needle a little bit so to speak Now, admittedly, I think I could fight, like, one-on-one -on -one some of the enemies from the planes if they're, like, the little goblins, because they hit hard, but if you can have the, enough parry strength, you should be able to deal with them. But we might have been able to kind of make our way to this mountain safely enough to, uh... Ooh, may may maybe not. Oh, no, that's... That's a little problematic. Uh, we might need to uh, adjust where we come from. Because like, if we look at the map here, this gr this uh, tan area is the plane. So we need to just kind of stay away from that part. Now, admittedly, that's not it. This isn't a very big uh, meadows biome, but it doesn't need to be. We got some boars there, so boars can spawn in this biome, which means we could get some two-star boars and tame them here instead of having to drag them all the way across creation, like I was gonna have to consider doing. So this is kind of the ideal place to set up a uh, base for for a mid game is we got a mountain up there we got planes to access for after we're done with the mountain so we're this is probably going to be where we set up a new base it's just a matter of probably kind of up this elevation we'll kind of flatten stuff out as we need and so let me put a little house like right here and a new base and we'll probably end up working more on that next week. A nice oak tree here. Perhaps we could keep that around. New base hype! New base hype!
nice thing is if we want to go back to like the black forest area to kind of get some more of that metal if we need it we can kind of just sail across this this sea bit here and go get it Yeah, plain scary, plain scary mountain. Let's grab our axe here and get a little bit of wood. On oh, these fallen wood pieces, pretty nice. This stinky little gray grayling. Come here. Mordor. Swat. Just swatted him down. Hmm. What do we have here? A full belly, a full sail, the weight of a spear in your hand, a song on your lips. Let all the mountains crumble and the seas boil to salt. One day in the sun is a life well lived. Well, that's kind of poetic, I guess. Um... There's even some raspberry bushes in this biome, which is nice, so if we need them, we can kind of get them. What I'll be more interested in doing is trying to get some uh, two-star boars to spawn out here and, t and tame uh, one of them. So that we don't have to, like, drag a boar from our, our base here, put it in a boat, and then sail all the way up here without something going wrong. So, yeah, I'd rather just, um... I'd rather I'd rather deal with the taming part again <laughs> than have to drag a boar that far away because once you have eight two star boar tamed you can breed just more of them so not a big deal it rain and now what you just showed up out of nowhere a little stinky man a little stinky lizard Like, they literally just poofed out of nowhere. That's great. Yeah, we're gonna, um... Probably the final thing we're doing in this stream is going to be setting up a, uh, the portal stuff here. Like, set up that set up our little our portal here that should connect yep and then let's set up a another chest right there and in that chest we can start offloading some stuff and specifically we've got like a bunch of iron in, in our boat from the, the swamp before we left. Let's uh, kind of get on the edge of the boat. Grab all of this, and then we'll just kind of just walk straight into the sea. Because <laughs> I very, I very specifically got this iron and put it in this boat before we went on our little adventure. So that we could um, have iron at this new base, so we can make better chests and stuff. Because otherwise, I would have to go get more separately, which we might do anyway. Because this biome over here has a lot of these crypts that have iron in them. There's also a turtle thing over there named Turtle. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna head on through, try to sleep, and we'll uh, end our stream and. We technically accomplished <laughs> what we wanted to do today in finding a new place for a base. So I, I mean, I'll take that. I'll take. I'll, I'll call. I'll call that a win. We didn't die. We got some more stuff. Found a new place to base at. So next stream will probably be a lot of base building and hopefully trying to spawn a two-star boar over there and have it somewhere nearby while we're building up a base so that the taming process is. Basically automated, because when you're taming these things, you have, they have to be nearby you. And um, for like a total of like 30 minutes, 
So if you're not, like, doing something, you just kind of have to sit there and just kind of fucking deal with it, and that's not very fun. Not very, not, not very exciting situation most of the time. It's like when I'm playing, like, this uh, game offline, and I'm having to tame my first boars or whatever, I usually just kind of make, like, a little house around the boars that are being tamed and then I put myself in that house and just kind of crouch and then go do something for like 30 minutes like watch YouTube or something like that because it's just kind of oh day 100 I was doing one of those cook baity ass YouTube videos we were like I survived day 100 look at me I'm so cool <laughs> We'll probably end up keeping this base here, like, structure-wise, but we'll just take all, like, the stuff with us, like... We'll, pro we'll probably just leave all those there, too, because... Eh, whatever. But, because we have so many of those cores that it almost doesn't matter if we leave all those there. And we can always just get more, like, wood and stuff. But, yeah, we'll be cutting all these birch trees down we planted to facilitate portals going around. <clears throat> Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and quit that. Uh, go back to my display options here, cause now I'll just I'll get the stream stuff kind of rolling out of here first. Let's see. There we go. But yeah, that is going to be the stream for today. Thank y'all for showing up. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate the company. Appreciate y'all sharing stuff about your day or what you got going on, too. It's always nice to know. Um, we we will be doing another Saturday stream this uh, weekend with uh, the Saga 2 remake in the morning, RimWorld in the afternoon, and at, the, at night we'll be doing an art stream. So, if that sounds like stuff you would be interested in watching, just tune in Saturday morning at 8 a.m. Um, Central Standard Time. That's when I'll be starting that, and then we'll be doing other stuff with breaks in between other stuff, like a lunch break and then probably a dinner break or whatever. But, yeah. Let's see if I can find someone to raid real fast. Twitch, Twitch, Twitch. Who we got? Who we got live? Mm. Uh, think we'll just call it here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thanks for hanging out, and hopefully I'll see y'all Saturday, and if not, then I'll see y'all next time. Have a great day.